Um, hi. Okay. This is part three of the pizza tower tutorial. We're gonna do super jumping. Uh, so we're gonna. You guys can learn the sound effects, and we're gonna do the particles from the iron blocks. Okay. Uh, cause those don't have particles yet. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna. Let's make the sound effects. That's pretty easy. Okay. So. I'm gonna go into let's see replica storage. I'm gonna put a sound. Um, okay, sound. Let's put the sound. Uh, let's see. Okay, so in the sound, you wanna first you wanna trigger it looped. We want it to be looped. Um, you can change the volume here too if you wanna make the sound louder and stuff like that. And let's name this sound. Mach one. I'll ask you, let's do, I'll ask you, just name it uh, mock mock on sound. Mock on sound. See here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna duplicate this. This one's, this one's gonna be called mock mock two sound and mock three sound. Okay. So you're gonna have to upload uh, your own sound. You got, you have to upload the sound file. You need to put the sound ID inside of inside of here. And uh, once you do that, uh, let's do the scripting now. We're just gonna go to the Mach One server script. Server script. Um, and we're going to do uh, in, in here. You want to do if the mock is uh, okay. If the mock is more than if the mock is not more than one, we're gonna stop all the mock run sounds. So game dot replicated storage. Wait for child. Replicated. No, 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 I mean, uh, mock one sound. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop this. Uh, copy and paste this. Do it for the mock two sound and mock three sound. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna. I'm now playing the sounds. We're gonna do if mock equals one, then uh, we're gonna put this in. So this one, this one, I'm gonna play it. Gonna play it. And if the mock is just doing this fast, pretty sure this is very not. I guess the job that mock equals two, two sound play mock. Yes, yeah, just, just do this. Um, so it's really that simple. When the character is added, I'm gonna local sound equals name that replicated source. I wait for channel mock. One sound, mock one sound clone. Uh, all right, let's do this for the. You can name the variable you want, but make sure to define the make sure to call it correctly. Uh, mock two, mock three. Actually, I want to change the names to this. Um, I'm gonna do. Sound one dot parent plus player dot character. Okay, sound two and sound three. Okay, sound two. Now we are going to actually change some of this. Um, first of all, we're going to get rid of these locals. Oops. I just define up here. Sound one, local sound two, local sound three. Um, so essentially, define up here. We can call it in this function now. So we just replace this with um, sound one. Replace this with sound two, and we replace this with sound three. Okay. This also gets replaced. Sound one, sound two. Sound sound three. Okay, we're gonna actually stop and only sounds. We're gonna if mark zero. Then we're gonna put this inside here. Okay. Now, if you play, sound should play. If it doesn't, um, see there's something wrong for sound, like the script or the or the properties and in, inside of the sound. Okay. Okay, um, I think the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and make the particles for the iron block. So let's just let's make a particle first. Um, let's see here. 
called Iron Block. I'm gonna put it particle emitter. Let's, let's change how let's name this particle emitter first. Let's uh let's name this emitter. I'm gonna name it um Drake break particle. Okay, we, uh, I want kind of want to make the size ten. See how that looks. Hmm. Oh, uh, let's see the color. I just want the color. And the color white is fine. So it's, yeah, it's really fine. Let's make the emission. To, let's make the lifetime. I I don't want it to last long. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna put one. Uh. Rate rotation speed. Make the speed one. We don't want it to go far. And make this a sphere. Change this to a sphere. Um. Hmm. So, and yeah, I need to tell you to do. Kind of like how this particle looks. I'm gonna put this particle inside. Replicate storage. Replicate storage. Have break particle inside that here. Okay, now let's make the particle effect. Okay, um, see here. Okay, so when it destroys a piece of. Oh, also, you can do the same thing for marble. All you gotta do is just make another one. Okay, so part name equals iron, then part dot can collide. It's false. Make sure the iron is also anchored. Uh, or it's gonna fall. Anyways, um, so we're gonna set it to false and we're gonna set the transparency. Transparency to one. And then we're gonna we're gonna wait for one second before actually destroying it because we wanna play the particle. We're gonna go into replicate storage, make a new event, name this one break particle. Um, and then we're gonna do game that replicate storage that wait for child break particle fire server and uh, and put iron here uh, capitalize this now we want to go to let's see here make a new script called uh oh, wait, wait, wait okay make a new script name this particle now game that replicate storage wait for child Particle mid, not not particle mid. I mean, break particle, break particle on server event. Connect um, function player and block. Oh, spell this wrong. If block equals iron. Then, uh, uh, then game that replicate storage. If a child break particle, clone local break particle. Local break particle equals this break particle. Hmm, dot parent equals block. Oh wait 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 uh. Lock that name. Lock that name. So we actually go back at Mac mock input. Fire server. We're gonna fire server the part. Fire server the part. Okay. Now when we go back here, we're gonna change this to this, and then break particle emit emit to ten. Wanted to emit ten particles. Uh, you can change this. Um, let's see, and also if you looked at episode number one, I think I explained more about how to customize the particles. I think yeah. So if you have trouble doing that, just watch. I'm pretty sure all of you guys watched episode one anyways, but still. And after it emits ten, I'm gonna make it task. Actually, we're gonna do task dot delay. Um. I'm gonna break this after half a second. So half a second later, we're just going to 
let's see, we're gonna break the break particle. Break particle destroy. Okay, um actually this is not working because we checked uh because these two are the same name. So we're gonna change this to just break particle remote. I'll change this to break particle remote. Go into mock input and also change this to break particle remote. I'll make sure to also put cast out weight um, 0 0.5 because we want uh, actually 0 0.6. We want to break the iron block not immediately, but 0 0.6 seconds out. Okay, let's make the super jump now. Just as always, you're going to have to make your own. Just as always, you're going to have to make your own animations again. So you can go ahead and do that. You, you're gonna have to, you, you wanna make an, an animation for walking while you, you do, you're charging it up and okay when you're charging it up and when you release it uh, and yeah animation okay and also it's best if you don't change anything with the legs and the animation because if you change anything with the legs if you don't change anything with the legs I'm pretty sure uh, the walk animation plays while you're doing the Charging up animation, which is pretty good, and you can like make it look like a walking walking while you're charging. Make sure the animation is looped. Once you make your animations, um, you're gonna have to make two new animation instances. Um, put your IDs inside. I'm gonna name one charge up, which is the charging up, and one one just super jump, uh, which we actually released a super jump. Okay, now um, let's actually code the super jump now. First thing you wanna do. We're gonna local define super jump to zero to actually do false because you're not super jumping. Um, okay, so we want to okay, we now want to do if key yeah go to input beginning inside mock input key dot key code equals enum key code dot. For me, I wanted to make your if you press the up arrow on your key while um, you're doing while you're doing a mock run. The super jump. You can choose any button you want, but I want to up arrow, up arrow. Key code equals up. Up. Um. Make sure this is two. Science then. Um. I'm gonna stop all the current animations. So. V dot stop. Okay. Now we want to do. We want to make we want to event fire server uh, zero. The mocks the mock run stops because we don't want you to be moving very fast. Okay, humanoid at walk speed is five because you you don't move that. Wait, uh, oh wait, yeah, got to change this. Okay. The reason why the walk speed is five, you don't you don't want to move fast while you're charging super jump or super jump is going to be too OP, so it's going to be five and uh, super jump equals true. Um, we're also going to do uh, let's see local super jump track equals copy and paste this, but this time change this one to. Charge up, I should change it to charge up track, charge up track, copy and paste the script, to sh this one's going to be called super jump track, and um, I'm going to change the super jump because that's the name of the animation. Okay, go back here, and do, um, let's, okay, I'm going to go here, and we are going to do, we're going to do charge, charge up track. Play and and oh yeah and also um go here charge up track dot animation priority actually I think it's just priority not priority equals enum dot animation priority action um, do the same thing for super jump part super jump super jump track. Okay, we want it where um, you can't in enter your mock one while you're doing the super jump. So if Kiko you could left in and super jump equals false. 
then the mistress is two evil signs. Okay. Um, I'm also go to. Also make okay. Um, I think that's all you do for this part. Now, when the input is ended, when the input ends, um, if super jump and um, if super jump and key that key code equals whatever your key is to activate super jump for mine, just up arrow as you guys know, so up, then I'm um, going to do super jump, okay? So, first of all, we're gonna. Look at, oh, yeah, make sure this is. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Anyways, make sh First thing we want to do is we're gonna stop the charger trap. Charger trap. Stop. Um, let's see here. We're going to do super jump track. Play. Um, platform stand equals false, and I'm also going to go back to force because instance dot new vector force vector force parent oops, script dot parent wait for child human the way real parts. Vector force. Oh, I'll spell this wrong. Vector force dot attachment zero equals. Oh yeah, we also okay. Put this. Um, last I wanna do equal at t equals um instance new attachment. ATT dot parent equals wait a second equals this vector force dot attachment zero equals ATT vector for row row vector force dot vector force dot force equals vector drew that new zero one hmm, let's do one thousand and zero. 